Before start watching this video, make sure you watch it to the end, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment in the comment session. This animal you're watching now is called the tuatara, is a species of reptile endemic to New Zealand. Despite its close resemblance to lizards, it is actually the only extant member of a distinct lineage, the previously highly diverse order Rhynchocephalia. The name tuatara is derived from the Mori language and means peaks on the back. The single extant species of tuatara is the only surviving member of its order which was highly diverse during the Mesozoic era Rhynchocephalians first appeared in the fossil record during the Triassic, around 240 million years ago, and reached worldwide distribution and peak diversity during the Jurassic, when they represented the world's dominant group of small reptiles. Rhynchocephalians declined during the Cretaceous, with their youngest records outside New Zealand dating to the Paleocene. Their closest living relatives are squamets, lizards, and snakes. Tuatara are of interest for studying the evolution of reptiles. Tuatara are greenish brown and gray, and measure up to 80 centimeters 31 inches from head to tail tip, and weigh up to 1.3 kilograms, 2.9 lb, with a spiny crest along the back, especially pronounced in males. They have two rows of teeth in the upper jaw overlapping one row on the lower jaw, which is unique among living species. They are able to hear, although no external ear is present, and have unique features in their skeleton. Tuatara are sometimes referred to as living fossils this term is currently deprecated among paleontologists and evolutionary biologists, although Tuatara have preserved the morphological characteristics of their Mesozoic ancestors, 240 to 230 million years ago. There is no evidence of a continuous fossil record to support the idea that the species has survived unchanged since that time and the species has between 5 and 6 billion base pairs of DNA sequence, nearly twice that of humans. The tuatara has been protected by law since 1895 tuatara, like many of New Zealand's native animals, are threatened by habitat loss and introduced predators, such as the Polynesian rat, Rattus exulans. Tuatara were extinct on the mainland, with the remaining populations confined to 32 offshore islands, 19, until the first North Island release into the heavily fenced and monitored Kirori Wildlife Sanctuary, now named Zealandia in 2005. During routine maintenance work at Zealandia in late 2008, a tuatara nest was uncovered, with a hatchling found the following autumn this is thought to be the first case of tuatara successfully breeding in the wild on New Zealand's North Island in over 200 years. Tuatara reproduce very slowly, taking 10 to 20 years to reach sexual maturity, though their reproduction rate is slow, tuatara have the fastest swimming sperm by 2 to 4 times compared to all reptiles studied earlier. Breeding occurs in midsummer. Females mate and lay eggs once every four years during courtship, a male makes his skin darker, raises his crests, and parades toward the female. He slowly walks in circles around the female with stiffened legs. The female will either allow the male to mount